Hey guys, today on Behind the Mask, we're going to be talking about all the neuromodulators, including Botox, Xeomin, Juvo, which is Nutox, and of course, Dysport. And how much should you get? Does it help with migraines? All that coming up on Behind the Mask. guys, today on Behind the Mask, we're going to be talking about neuromodulators, fancy words for Botox, Juvo, Xeomin, and Dysport. All these neuromodulators function relatively similarly. Botox was the original one, and others have come into play. In the end, all of them kind of work the same. It just depends on how long out you look at the results. But as you look longer and longer into results, all of them sort of follow the same curve and meet in that curve. Well, how, does, uh, how do you know how much Botox to give or, or, or how much is too much? Well, you don't want a frozen look. I don't think anybody wants that. What you want is sort of a natural look with some facial expressions. I know some people say, come freeze my forehead. Well, we can do that too, but then it looks a little odd and you look expressionless. And human beings, as video and video motion type of creatures that we are, we, we see things 60,000 times faster when it's in motion. And so we, we rely on some of these cues, these nonverbal cues. Also, if you're getting a brow that's way too high and one that's too low, those are easily curable by just placing the Botox perfectly and correctly. And even if one goes a little higher or the other one goes a little bit lower, we can raise a brow or we can drop a brow as well. Juvo is our new tox. We use that primarily. One, it's a cost savings to you. But two, it's a great addition to neuromodulators as sometimes people become resistant to one neuromodulator, we switch you to another. Resistant means it's just you're just not getting the same effect. For migraines, I do use Nutox, I use Xeomin, I use Botox. All of them are very, very good for migraines. Botox has an FDA approval for it, but I do use the others as off-label. Migraines is a whole different world. I inject in both the glabella, the zygomatica temporal areas behind the neck, in the greater and less hospital area and then down the neck as well. Sometimes I'll go intraoral and hit the masseters. So very complex, but I can get it to you guys and teach you guys while I'm in the office when you come see me. Again, too much Botox makes you look weird. Just enough Botox makes you look relaxed. Thanks for watching on Behind the Mask.